Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. Thursday nights in February, we're bringing the spirit of Valentine's Day to the screen with Kiss Connections. These movies will be connected by a kiss. In each film, the lips of a pair of romantic leads will touch, and then in the next movie, one of those leads will return to kiss another. Up first tonight, the stars are Irene Dunn and Cary Grant, together in a 1940 screwball comedy, My Favorite Wife. Grant plays Dunn's widowed husband. She's dead, he's looking to restart his life, but since Irene Dunn is one of the leads and the movie is not told in flashback, perhaps you get an idea of what's coming. Though My Favorite Wife is very much a comedy of mistaken mortality, the plot can be traced back to a narrative poem from 1864 written by Alfred Lord Tennyson, England's poet laureate. The poem, called Enoch Arden, is not funny. It's about a man who everybody thought had died in a shipwreck, but he returns home after 10 years on a deserted island, discovers his wife is happily remarried, so he dies of a broken heart. Come to think of it, it is pretty funny. My favorite wife reimagines the story in a far less depressing manner. First, it reverses the roles. In this case, it's the wife, Irene Dunn, who's been shipwrecked. Second, Tennyson didn't write the story, didn't even get a credit. Though, as an homage to Enoch Arden, the name of Grant's character in the movie is Nick Arden. Leo McCary produced and co-wrote My Favorite Wife. He was set to direct, too, but Garson Kanan took over while McCary recovered from a serious car accident. Three years earlier, that team, Cary Grant and Irene Dunn with Leo McCary directing, made one of Hollywood's signature screwball comedies, The Awful Truth. Here they are again, three years later, replicating their magic in 1940, also with Randolph Scott and Gail Patrick in My Favorite Wife. My Favorite Wife from RKO hit theaters two months after Columbia released a similar picture, Too Many Husbands, starring Gene Arthur, Fred McMurray, and Melvin Douglas. In Too Many Husbands, a long-lost husband returns home to his remarried wife. Too Many Husbands was remade in 1955 as a musical, three for the show, with Betty Grable, Jack Lemmon, plus Marge and Gower Champion. In 1962, 20th Century Fox started production on a remake of My Favorite Wife called Something's Got to Give with Marilyn Monroe, Dean Martin and Sid Charisse. Monroe was fired after showing up for work just 17 days during the first month of shooting. Monroe died a couple of months later, only days after coming to terms with the studio to resume production. Doris Day, James Garner, and Polly Bergen starred in the movie Fox eventually made called Move Over, Darling, from 1963. Up next, Cary Grant returns 23 years later as we move from a 1940 romantic comedy to a 1963 romantic thriller co-starring Audrey Hepburn.